Hello there, Dre again, and in this video, I will show you how to deal with Sultanist or Toxicity while playing online. Also, this is just my personal method on how I deal with saltiness or toxicity, but if you have better ways to deal with it, feel free to comment down below. Now, let's begin. First, let us define salty. According to the website Know Your Meme, salty is a slang term meaning upset or bitter, typically used as an insult in player versus player or PvP games to suggest that the opponent feels mad or frustrated due to pwnage. When playing online, there will always come a time when you'll have a terrible losing streak in any PvP game. Thus, will result into frustration and if it gets worse, you'll probably end up smashing your keyboard or controller due to so much rage. Then, there are times you may end up blaming your team, rage quitting, verbally abusing other players, and false reporting other innocent players that are far better than you. Look, I get it. You're mad. I understand your pain, your anger, and frustration. But that's no excuse to be a tumor in someone's life. And that brings me to my first advice in preventing saltiness, is to accept defeat and cool off. Do you know the quote, death before dishonor? Well. That quote kinda translates well in my first advice because when some players are having a bad game, they tend to rage quit and as a result, they end up abandoning their team and that team is forced to play an unbalanced match. Don't dishonor your team by quitting. If your team is losing, swallow your pride and accept defeat like a good sport. Remember, it's a game. It's just a game. Don't be that prick who takes online multiplayer way too seriously. If you can't take another bad game, then just stop playing, log out, and try to cool off. You need to cool off because if you keep playing, your rage will only hurt others and your win rate. Just stop playing for an hour or two and clear your mind by going out for a walk, read a good book, get some work done, watch your favorite anime, listen to some relaxing music, or try meditating. And if that doesn't work, then my second advice is realize that you and the people you are playing with are not the best players in the world. Let me remind you again. It's just a game. Video games are made to entertain and are made to be fun. Not everyone you play with is aiming to become the best player in a certain game. To tell you the truth, I'm not even a good player myself, especially on PC. But being the best player isn't my concern. My concern is how much fun I'm having when I'm playing with other players. Other people play because they want to have fun after a long day at work, and you being salty just ruined the experience for everyone. As soon as you realize this, your life and how you game will be much better, trust me. Personally, I think that whatever game you play doesn't need to be taken that seriously because games are made to bring joy and excitement, not hate. Next is my third advice, which is to realize that there are times you will get lucky and unlucky. Just like in life, people have their own ups and downs and that goes in any game you play as well. There will come a time when you will get an awesome quad feed in Call of Duty or play of the game in Overwatch for example. Please realize that luck is just luck, okay? Besides, everyone you play with has good and bad luck at some point. I think one of the problems why some players don't acknowledge this fact is because there are a number of people out there who are too addicted to winning. And when they lose, they can't get by with the losses. And that brings me to my last advice, winning isn't everything. Okay, let me say that winning is a great feeling. It builds up self-confidence and it keeps you excited every match. But eventually, winning can become boring and it'll stop you from being interested. This is why losing is just as okay as winning. Losing helps you learn from mistakes. It makes you a better person and it makes winning so much sweeter. And that applies if you are playing any sport or playing any online game. Lastly, just like in real life, Dealing with losses serves as an important lesson for all of us. This may sound cheesy, but losing is just simply a part of our life experience. Or, in our case, our gaming experience. Well, that's all I have to say. I hope the gamers who are watching this will be less salty or less toxic when playing online. And hopefully it will also help online gaming to be more welcoming for others. Oh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong by commenting down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!